basketball. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do it, build it, or make it? So do we. And we have new videos each week, every Tuesday and Friday. If I had a nickel for every time somebody asked us, how do you make a laser cut box? I would have exactly 25 cents. <laughs> but how easy are they? Step one, we're gonna gather all of our supplies. Uh, you can use anything to make uh, one of these little boxes with. We have acrylic, we have some eighth inch plywood, some quarter inch plywood, I think. Yeah, we've got some a variety inch MDF. of MDF. Of course we have quarter inch MDF, that's our go-to. So I mean, you can make it out of anything, but whatever you pick, you gotta be able to measure it with some uh, calipers. So what are we doing it out of, babe? Um. I want to do it out of the, the like wood green over here. This, so uh, this, this birch. This birch, all right. Just gonna use the calipers to check the actual measurement. Well, that's in millimeters, hold on. All right, so this is actually 0.124. Great, now we know. <laughs> Step two. We're gonna go make our box. <laughs> We're going to start making our box here at makercase.com. This is a free website where you can make different types of boxes you can see up here, just a few options. We're gonna do a simple box today, and then I want this one to be tall and skinny, so I'm gonna do it four and a half by eight. The depth is also going to be four and a half. Uh, I want an image on the outside, so I'm going to make these the inside dimension so I'll know I have enough room on the outside for the pattern I want to cut out here. Material thickness, so this is why we use the calipers. We're going to put in our custom thickness, which was 0.124. All right. And we're going to do a closed box. And then we are going to do, so what you're seeing here are the flat jo edge joints. We're gonna do the finger edge joints. This is kind of what we demoed in the beginning. Well, that uh, way it's a whole lot easier to put together. I don't have to try to line them up and glue it. And then you can see you can change the side, size of your image and move it all around. Uh, right now it is at about an inch for the finger joint, that seems, that looks about right that's, to me, right? That's good to me. Okay. We're gonna leave it at an inch and say download box plans. That looks great. Uh, we do not need the panel labels. We're gonna disable those. I'll that's... just guess. I'll figure it out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> gonna get crazy with it. We do not need to change the line formatting. We're gonna leave the colors as is, the width line as is, and we do not need to change the kerf. We're gonna do zero or none for cut composition type. And now we're just gonna download SVG. Now we're gonna take this over to Lightburn, but before we do, I'm gonna go get a pattern, right? Yeah, you want to get a wrap your pattern now. All right, so let's start here in Canva. Our last couple of videos, we've really shown you some of the cool things that Canva can do. Uh, we're gonna show you something new in this video. First of all, did anyone see this? I love this trail <laughs> and the stars. I really am just- So trippy. <laughs> I'm so distracted by it, I love it. All right, we are gonna stick with the 18 by 24 poster. I love a poster. Oh, I made it vertical. I don't think it matters. Doesn't matter. We're going to go to our elements and then we're going to type in laser cut in all caps. That's right. Yell at it. <laughs> here, this is what I'm looking for. These panels right here. So if I click on one, magic recommendation says, hey, I have lots of these if you want to choose from these. Look at all of these great pa patterns that you could put right on the side of your box. Uh, and I think, I mean, I guess I'm just gonna stick with the one that's here. I like that. Yeah, I mean, it's flowery looking. Uh, what size am I working with? Uh, if you go up to position. Position. Yep. 
five by nine. It's a little big, but I can adjust yeah, it after I download it. it. All right, so from here, we're gonna click share and we're going to download. I'm gonna download it as an SVG. The little crown shows that you have to have the pro account, but definitely the pro account is worth it. We're gonna keep it with a transparent background and click download. All right, now we're gonna go over to Lightburn and import the two things we just created. So up here on our toolbar, this is the import icon. I'm gonna to go to my downloads and I'm gonna download the box one that I just did. Here I can right click and I'm gonna ungroup these. They're already grouped. Um, they're already groupies. Yeah, they're already a bunch of groupies. Ooh, I got those pretty darn tight. I better move them apart. <laughs> I'm gonna move them apart. All right, hold on. All right, so these are not gonna fit on one board, the tops and the bottoms, but we can go ahead and do our thing with them before. <laughs> before we get out of here. All right, and now I need to import my image. It's my design. This is also grouped. So the thing about this is right now, I can make this a little smaller so that it fits on here. Is that too big? Should I give it just a little yeah, more room? Uh, two five, maybe? Uh, I do just a flat four. Flat four. I'll give you a little room on the sides. Okay. All right. I like that. Now, the thing I can see here is that this image has a square frame on the outside, so if I cut it as is, then the whole middle is just going to be oh, cut out. Yeah. <clears throat> so I need to right click and ungroup this, and then I want to take this outside frame and delete that. Now the image will be cut out of the panel, uh, but I need to go back and group it all again. Control G. Now I can control D, we'll duplicate it, holding my shift key, I'm gonna drag it to the next panel. Control D, duplicate, shift and drag. Control D, shift and drag. And now I'm going to center each one of these on their panel by using this bullseye up here, align both vertical and horizontal centers. So that's good. That's good. That's good. And this one. All right. Do you think that's a little close to the edge? Move that in for a little. You're about to lose control. I'm about to lose control by falling off the edge. Yeah. All right, so the other thing I want to do with this box, like we showed you with the jack-o'-lanterns in the beginning, is that I'm going to make a lid and a base for it. And it's and it could be, here you can see that Maker Case has created us a lid that's going to fit down and be flush with the top and the bottom. But I want them to have, the top and the bottom to have a lip on the outside. Just get a little lippy. Gonna get a little lippy. All right, so I'm going to create a box here. I'm going to hold shift and draw my box. Oop. Oop. Let me go back to my arrow. And it needs to come around the lid here. Uh, and what am I at? 475. So I want this one to be five and a half. I guess it's about right, huh? Uh, probably 5.75. A whole half inch? You want a quarter inch all the way around? Well, it That's is. That's a, a half like inch all the way around. I think uh, being that tall, it's gonna need a little, a little something. It needs to look like it's definitely wearing a hat at that tall. And you want a whole half inch? So well, that once be... you divide it around the edges, it'll actually be like a, probably a quarter inch all the way around. No, it's gonna be a half on either side and a half on the top and the bottom. 
think we'll, we'll see. We'll see how half inch is. I mean, we can always adjust it. So I need to center these. Now the next thing I'm going to do is duplicate this. Uh, and I'm going to make it the same size as the box well, on the inside, right? Uh, yeah. So grab the measurements of the inside box. Which is... Copy the width. Okay. Control C. Go to this box. Control V. There you go. Now align the two of them. You want to align the big box and the small box. The the two inside boxes, no, that's right. Just the big box and the one small box you just made. Align these two. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Now minus. Now I'm going to cut this out of the big box, right? Yeah. So minus front. Mm -hmm. Now I've got, uh, now it's basically a frame, a square frame with an open inside. And then I have this one and I need to merge all these together. Okay, so what he's saying is now we need to make this part of that. So I've got to grab all of them. Yep, beautiful and bullseye. Give it a old bullseye first. Boolean union, right? Oh, oh, hello. Okay. Yep, now Boolean union. Okay. Did you do it? I think I did. How about this one? Yeah, do that one. Weld all. Nope. Nope, that's not what I want. Well, let me make sure I cut. See, it's important oh. to yeah, that minus one's not front. That one. What's that? Minus the front. You gotta grab the big box, yeah. then the small box. Now yeah. the small box. Okay. And now minus. There you go. Now it should be all one piece. Is it because I didn't select them in the proper order? Yes. The second gets subtracted from the first. Yes, the second one selected gets subtracted from the first one. So. Alright, so if I go back and now and do Boolean union, that's what you're. Okay. Yeah, there you go. There we go. Okay, so what we did here is now these finger joints that'll be sticking up from the top of this will fit down inside the openings that we just created for the lid. And we're going to just copy and paste this for the base, right? I don't need this one. Yeah, you can get rid of that little guy. Um, all right, just control G it is already one thing, right? Yeah, it should be all one. So control D, duplicate. Now I think just turn everything red. Control A, select everything, and put it all on the O2, the red layer, the cut layer. Step three, we're gonna make all of our cuts. We're gonna bring this piece of scrap over to the X-Tool P2 and we'll cut it out. But first we're gonna stop back into Lightburn and update our cut settings. Now we're gonna make our settings, our cut settings here. So we're gonna, for the P2 that you can see is connected down here, we're gonna use 25 millimeters per second at 100% power. Next, we're gonna select everything we want cut. I'm gonna drag from the bottom right to the top left. This is everything we're gonna cut this first pass and click start. All of our little pieces are cut. Now I don't know if you noticed in the first clip, we <laughs> didn't cut through properly. These two line up perfectly. This one does not. That one's, it was thinking outside the box. So we used the blade bed, which is great because all the little pieces will drop to the bottom. I could just dump them out. But the downside to that is some of these are kind of long. So what happened is it partially dropped down but left a little piece of it sticking up and the laser head caught it and dragged the whole board. So we're gonna swap out the blade bed for the honeycomb bed and now everything will lay perfectly flat and nothing will catch the laser head. You gotta kinda keep an eye on that. Yeah. <laughs> Step four. Assembly. We're just gonna snap this thing together. It's like a puzzle now. It's got all these little tabs. We'll just start with the bottom, I guess. 
Put that on the bottom. Yeah. Oh, so this is the wrong one. You gotta make sure you line them up. All the finger joints line up. I think it's this side. Oh, I still don't even have the right yeah. one. This one. No, it's not that way. That's the ugly side out. Oh, that's the ugly side out. Get in there. Throw the top on. Well, I'll start with a pay corner. <laughs> you just do everything together. It's so fun when we just do it all together. Bottom fit so easy. There we go. There we go. <laughs> okay. There. So easy. It was so easy, but you gotta line up. Uh, you can glue it, not glue it, you can screw it, you can slap it up, flip it, and rub it down. You can stain it, not stain it, paint it, spray paint it. There's so many ideas. All right, well, for real, for ideas, I wanted to share that you can make this even smaller. There's so many different things that you can do with these. You can use these as the jack-o'-lanterns like we started with, or in this case, this is a nice lantern, or it could be a serving column. You could have a party and maybe oh, put yeah. serving trays on there. There are so many different things Where you, you put can your do. pizza? You can make it smaller and actually put a, cut a little hole out of the inside and then another little frame and actually make it like a pencil holder or you could gift some candy canes and a little pencil holder. So there's just so many oh, yeah. different things that you can do with a box rather than, you know, maybe it has a lid, maybe it doesn't have a lid, has a lip, it doesn't have a lip. So they, it, it is really easy to do. <laughs> there are so many things that you can actually do with this box technology. <laughs> what are you going to make with a box? Or what have you made? There's just so many different types of things. I wanted you to think outside the box. Yeah, let us know <laughs> down below. Big thanks to all of our patrons. We love you guys. Our little hanger fam. Our little hanger fam. <laughs> so we have a bunch of good stuff happening over on Patreon. We have illustrator techniques. We have light burn techniques. We even have a little bit of artificial intelligent techniques over yeah, there. Yeah, a little class yeah. last night. So we are about out of time. So if you're not gonna join us for the patron after show, or Kimmet Garrett after dark is what I like to call it. <laughs> we will see you on Tuesday where we'll do it building and make it again. And again, we'll see you next Friday too. I'm just gonna go right for the middle balance. Ooh, should I spin it? Like a basketball? Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs>